All right, here's a quick video on how to use mathagon.org polypad uh, to represent uh, multiplying fractions and make that a, a visual process rather than just following the rules of, oh, with fractions, you gotta make them fractions and then just multiply straight across. Like, all right, let's make this make sense. So let's get started. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to, of course, use poly, polypad. And way up there, there's the URL right there, mathagon.org slash polypad. And uh, let's start with 3 fourths times 4 fifths. And then we'll uh, do something a little bit bigger, one, time, uh, one and a quarter times 1 and 2 thirds. And I'll go pretty fast because you can always press pause, rewind, and, uh, or, or make the video, you know, change the play speed to a little bit slower. So uh, here we go. So let's start with 3 fourths times 4 fifths. And recognizing that when we're multiplying, what we can do is we can think of this as multiplying um, uh, the two dimensions of an area model, of a rectangle. Like we're trying to find the area of a rectangle that is three quarters uh, of a hole uh, wide and it's four fifths of a hole, of a unit, or uh, of a foot or whatever you want to call it, uh, tall. So here is our um, rectangle and there's my three fourths and there is my four fifths. Now we're going to use this idea, this rectangle thingy thing right here to show that this blue area is one whole unit. How do I know it's one whole unit? Because it's one unit on the left, it's one unit on the right, and so one full unit, right, if we were to include these kind of unshaded areas. Uh, that's what, So this blue is a unit square, all right? And, but we don't want the entire unit square. What we really want is we want the portion that is formed by this smaller rectangle because this is the rectangle that is three quarters of a unit wide and four fifths of a unit tall, okay? So we wanna find the area of this piece right here. So what we're gonna do is we are going to cut and we're gonna cut this blue area into its smaller parts. So I'm just gonna cut it up into smaller parts. See, I'm just gonna cut it up by quarters, going here and there, cut it into quarters there. And then I'm gonna cut it into fifths over here. So I'm gonna start down here and cut into fifths right there. Uh, cut it into fifths right there. And I'm just kind of going straight across, aren't I? Trying to make them straight lines. Uh, Mathagon is kind of cool because it will let me not <laughs> go in a perfectly straight line. It'll let me go kind of at a cockeyed diagonal. So I need to be careful here. And there we go. So now uh, I've cut my entire whole, uh, which is four fourths by five fifths, that's whole blue area is one whole. But really what I want is I want to know what is the area, and I'll recolor this, of this lime green area. This is the area that is the answer to three fourths times four fifths. Well, I can count. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 12 out of what? Well, it's 12 out of 20, because uh, there's 12 in the lime green, 20, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So the whole thing is 20 units, and that lime green area, which is the piece that we're interested in, the rectangle that is 3 fourths of a unit wide, four-fifths of a unit tall is 12 twentieths, and that is our answer. Now, of course, that could be simplified. It could be simplified to, I don't know, four, uh, three, uh, three-fifths, <laughs> three-fifths. Let's see if that's true. Is that a true statement? Let's see. Uh, let's see. We got 20 total, uh, four, yeah, yeah, three-fifths. Uh, three that's right. 
All right, so now let's find, uh, essentially do the same thing only with mixed numbers. So we want to find the, the product of one and a quarter times one and two thirds, which basically means we're trying to find the area of a rectangle that is one and a quarter units wide by one and two thirds units tall or vice versa. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to kind of insert because I'm good that way. Uh, I'm just going to insert this uh, let's see this rectangle kind of pre-made sort of right here. I'm going to wiggle and get it going here. All right. And so now I have to turn off the dots because it's going to try and snap snap to the um, dots if I don't. So all right. So there you go. That's the rectangle that we want to find the area of. All right. And so in fact, you know what? I got an idea. Why don't we just use our geometry tool right here and just create it right here. So here is the wah bam. So that's the area we're looking for. Now we can see that one hole is the square formed by this one by one unit. So let's do it. Let's just kind of go in here and draw and cut. I mean, here is our boom right there. That thing right there represents one hole. How do I know? Because it's one unit wide by one unit tall. But how many pieces does this uh, does it take to make this one hole? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take this hole down here and we are going to rename him into fourths. There we go. And then we're going to take this hole right here and rename it into thirds. All right. So now this entire height is listed in terms of thirds. The width is now listed in terms of fourths. And we can now see that this hole, this square unit right here, is actually made of 12 pieces. Now, how do I know that? Well, I can see that it's 12 pieces going vertical. I mean, uh, four pieces, four like strips going vertical. Wah bam and then similarly oopsies similarly going horizontally I've got three strips one and two three right Wah bam so there's our 12 pieces right here that makes one hole and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say well how many pieces is left over. So all we have to do is continue with our cutting. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to finish cutting our fourths going up. See that? I'm going to cut this to finish all of our fourths. Notice, boom, now I've, I'm cutting up by fourths. And then I just need to do the same thing with our thirds. I need to keep cutting with our thirds. One, uh, right here is cut, wah bam, and then this cut, wah bam, and then lastly cut, wah bam, and look at that. So this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So these twelve pieces make one whole. And so now all I have to do is count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh my goodness, oopsies. Uh, so these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So those twelve pieces, oh, let's do it in kind of a uh, pinky color. So these 12 pieces makes a second hole and then we have one little piece left over. So we end up with two holes and then one little piece left over out of 12 because it takes 12 pieces to make a hole. Now if we really wanted to think about it, we could take this thing and I'll copy it and I'll move it over here and delete all this stuff. But what we could have thought about 
was we could have thought about this one and one fourth as being renamed as five fourths. And then we can think of this one and two thirds as being named as five thirds. And look at that, one, two, three, four, five down here. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five right here. So it's five fourths by five thirds. And we could see that that gives us a total of 25 twelfths. So we have 25 pieces all together because it's five units wide, five units tall. So that's 25 pieces all together. The denominator is 12 because that means it takes 12 pieces to make one whole. And now we can see that that gives us two, oops, equals. Now, Polypad has a hard time typing uh, mixed numbers, so I have to put the 1 12th left over and then type in the 2. And so the, the mustard colored and the pink are our two holes. And then we have this one little blue left over, which is 1 12th. And that is how you can use Polypad to represent multiplying fractions using the area model. Don't forget to subscribe.